the safest and cheapest ultimate team coins anywhere check out rockbottomcoins.com and use code zerk at checkout for a 10 percent discount on your order the whole thing wobbing. is going on guys it is zerks you come today with another youtube video and today we have the new week 11 nfl replay players and we actually have two cowboys offensive heroes in a row kind of crazy to see that but finally travis frederick does get a nice little upgrade up to a 98 overall also has pound the rock toughness and identifier chemistry then we also have levante david who does have secure tackler so uh, the first 98 overall NFL replay hero, so definitely kind of excited to see exactly who is in the set. But Levante David also has secure tackler with read and react and blanket coverage, so definitely a very good looking card. In the actual set, though, you guys can see we have Robert Kelly, and I'm going to guess that none of these cards are going to be up in the auction box just yet. But we have Robert Kelly, JJ Nelson, Marshall Newhouse. We also have Charles Clay, Kobe Fleener, Thomas Rawls. Definitely excited. I want to see that card stats. Jameis Winston and also Armand Foster. And then on the defensive side, we have Raphael Bush, Arthur Motes, Dominique Easley. Then we have Benay Benwickwary or Benwickary, I think. Clint McDonald, Mason Foster, Carl Joseph, and Ron. Parker. So definitely a pretty good uh, NFL replace, I guess, for this week. I mean, Levante David, Travis Frederick, both pretty good cards, if you ask me. Now, I'm really hoping that with this coming out, people will open some more replay packs and hopefully pull themselves some more cards, because I want to get this Des Bryant so bad. It's just a matter of making sure that I can get him for a decent enough price. So right now, 89k. Plus, I would have to buy Jari Evans for 78k. So, we're looking at a pretty penny right now. And then, of course, Zach Miller's going for a ton of coins for no apparent reason. Martavis Bryant probably going for a good amount as well. He's going for about 65k. I'm really hoping to pick up Des Bryant maybe today. Or maybe do a little bit of a shopping spree if Des falls down to, say, 400k. Which I'm hoping that he will. Now, tomorrow, we will be able to get ourselves some tokens for the NFL Draft promo. I'm not exactly sure how, and you guys can see Des Bryant's 440k, and he's not selling. So, hopefully, that means he's a little bit cheaper than that. But let's go ahead and check it out, and hopefully, he is just falling way down in price to 300k. Ooh, okay, 420k for Des Bryant. Now, this is more like it. That's exactly what I want to see out of him. I just want to see him go down... If he can go below 400k, I'll definitely scoop him up. Dwight Clark, another option that I could pick up a wide receiver, but I already have Julio Jones, who now is 400k. I think I bought him for 500. So that definitely sucks. Harold Carmichael, also dipping down in price. It seems like all the wide receivers, because of Calvin, definitely took a nice little hit in the market. But let's go ahead and open some packs and maybe get ourselves some NFL replay players. Uh, it doesn't even look like there's replay packs up just yet that's a little bit weird let's go and back out and maybe it'll refresh and there'll be some replay uh players up and also some packs that definitely do not want to open the packs if there are no replay players in the game so let's go and back out and hopefully they're loading up it looks like it's taking a bit to load up and replay packs or we're still going to be ultimate legends okay so there we go with the replay packs now forty thousand coins for an nfl replay pack is definitely not worth it do not open those i don't think they're worth them at all let's go ahead and get into a four gold player pack i think these are way better than the nfl replay yes the replay does guarantee you basically an elite but there's an elite right there 81 taylor decker in the first card of the bundle of course you're not going to go in for much but still nice to pull an elite second pack Come on, give us an elite as we get Will Compton. Another elite, 84 Sammy Watkins in the second goal player pack. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what else we can. Can we get another elite? Like, can we get, can we get an elite in all four packs? That is the real question here. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get an elite in all four packs. Last pack, though. And then we'll go ahead and check the price on Sammy Watkins and also the left tackle. Come on. Another elite, Bryce McCain. Dang, okay, so... Four packs, three elites, packs reduced. That's all I gotta say. 
let's go ahead and check the prices on these guys hopefully they're going for a decent amount of coins and then i'll show you guys these stats on the new nfl replay players but it looks like bryce mccain is going for about 3200 coins so 3k not the absolute best now it did cost me 30,000 coins to open that those packs will i make it back maybe i might make it back because of course the silver as you can sell for about 700 a pop 4,500 coins for Sammy Watkins, and also the gold, so maybe we'll actually make our coins back. Gonna be kind of interesting to see. 4,500 coins for Sammy Watkins, so that was about 7k total. And then we also have Taylor Decker, who is going for... What's he going for? 2,900 coins again. Now, if you guys did not already see my guess who yesterday with Mark, make sure you guys go check that out, because of course I'm going to be doing a giveaway and the loser that is going to be doing a giveaway and then of course mark's channel we do another one the loser that is going to be doing a giveaway so you guys need to make sure that you go to those videos and you watch them and also comment down below with your xbox or your twitter and tell us why you should win we've been picking a winner i think in yeah, it's two days we we'll are picking a winner on thursday which is the draft promo beginning really quickly before i do show you guys the nfl replay player stats i want your opinion on something should I stop buying Ladanian Talents tokens? Because I currently have 31, and for the 98 overall, I believe that it was 24. But I feel like it's going to be a nice little jump from the 98 to the 99 overall. So do you think I should buy more than 30, or should I stop buying now? The thing is, if it comes out with a set and you say you need like 50, then I'm going to be behind by quite a few days. So I'm really not too sure if I should just stop buying them or if I should buy them for precautionary because, of course, you can't quick sell them. So if I buy too many, then I buy too many, and then I'm just basically stuck with it. So let me know what to do with that. Kind of curious on what you guys think will happen exactly with that, but let me know down below on if I should keep buying the Danny Thomas tokens or if I should just stop and wait for the set to actually come out, which could be quite a bit. So here's Levante David, he is 90 speed, which I gotta say, 90 speed on Levante David, kind of surprising. He's not usually like the fastest outside linebacker, so 90 speed is definitely a pretty good stat for him to have. 77 strength, he also has himself a 97 tackling, with a 97 play recognition, a 90 block shed, an 84 power move, a 90 finesse move, and he also has himself a 95 hit power. So overall, I gotta say, Levante David definitely looks like an absolute beast. Now, if I knew what his zone coverage was, then I'd imagine that he probably has like a 92 or 93, which I can actually show you guys right now over on my head. Actually, if I go ahead and go to my head and refresh, I think he actually might be up and be able to show you guys. All right, so lucky enough, Levante actually is up on my head now. 90 speed, 90 fork so, 92 jumping. He also has himself a 97 play rec with a 90 pursuit, a 97 tackling, 90s block shed, and a 95 hit power. Also has a 94 zone with an 87 man and a 90 finesse move with an 84 catch it. I gotta say, this card is definitely pretty dang good. Also, read and react and blanket coverage. You can boost his man coverage. You can boost his pursuit. You can boost his zone coverage. The card is pretty dang good, if you ask me. Then we also have Travis Frederick, which we're gonna have to go ahead and type him in. And let's see if he is up on my head as well. And he actually is 98 overall Travis the Goat Frederick. And let's go ahead and check out his stats. We can, you know, freaking scroll down. 97 run block with a 95 pass block, 98 impact blocking with a 96 strength and a 96 awareness. Now he also has himself a 60 speed and 84 acceleration, so definitely a pretty decent card if you ask me. So in general, what do you guys think about the NFL where he plays for today? Travis Frederick and also Levante David. I gotta say, I think it's pretty good. Not just because I'm a Cowboys fan, but I'm really hoping that with the addition of all this that it will make des bryant go down in press it's really all i want is for des to go down and then maybe i'll do a little bit of a shopping spree i think i want to pick up a new wide receiver too which of course is going to be des and then i want to pick up a new right tackle maybe left end i'm thinking about picking up uh lawrence taylor in place of james harrison i just feel like lawrence Taylor is such a beast you gotta have him on your team but if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe me comment thank you guys so much for the support yesterday's videos did absolutely amazing 
definitely was crazy thank you guys once again and if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe and comment i'll see you guys next time